Hey, what's going on, DDO players? Today, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming level cap increase to 30. If you aren't aware, at the end of this year sometime, we don't have an exact date, but we'll have an update and the level cap will be increasing from level 28 to level 30. And this past, past week or two, the developers have been laying out some detailed information about how this level cap increase will work and I'm going to go over that today. If you want to get, have a uh, just visit the link to the developer post yourself to the the main thread for this and the DDO forms you can check out a link below in the description I'll post it there. Let's talk about what you're going to get at level 29 and level 30. At level 29 you're going to get two fate points and you're going to get a an ex additional epic destiny feat at level 30, you're going to get another three fate points. You're going to get another twist of fate slot. Yes, you will have four twists of fate now, and if you have epic completionists, you will have five. You will also receive a normal feat at level 30 and something called a legendary feat at level 30. This is basically a, a capstone for the game. So a level 30 capstone, these legendary feats are a very significant power increase, much more than a regular feat. So there's going to be quite a difference in power between a level 29 character and a level 30 character. And that's definitely intended. Let's talk a little bit about the XP curve. So, of course, with new levels, we, will, we of course, will be getting more XP required to reach cap. Thing with the XP, though, the developers looked at how much XP would be required if they were to follow the standard formula for increasing XP based on level. If they follow the same curve they've been using and they decided that was just too much. If they followed the same formula for increasing the XP cap as what, what's been used in the past, the total XP at level 30 would be something around 10 million and they decided that was definitely too much so instead of 10 million they're, they're lowering it down to 8.25 million and that will be an increase of what it currently takes to get to level 28, which is 6.6 .6 million. So we're talking about another 1.6 million or so XP to get from 28 to 30, which I think is definitely reasonable. There's been a lot of discussions about on the forums about how this XP increase should happen, what the curve should look like for each level, and the developers have thrown out a few different proposals. We still don't know what the final decision is. It, originally, they had a proposal to to revamp all of the epic levels, starting from level 20, and make every single epic level the same amount of XP to get to the next one. This will be in contrast to what we have currently, where the early epic levels, like 21, 22, are very quick. They don't need very much XP at all. They are going to increase the XP required at the lower epic levels um, to help flatten out the XP at the later levels. So that way it's very consistent. Um, they've since thrown out another proposal where there is, um, instead of everything being even, there is now a, a, a smaller amount of XP required at the earlier epic levels than there, there it would be at the later levels. This is kind of a compromise between what was originally proposed and what we have right now in game. So it's still an ongoing process. We don't know what the final XP curve is, but it's something developers are talking about and definitely reading comments about. So if you have comments or concerns, definitely go to the thread I posted below and voice your opinion. One other important thing to note, the minimum required level for epic reincarnation and iconic true reincarnation is increasing. After the cap goes to 30, you will no longer be able to Iconic Reincarnate or Epic Reincarnate at level 28. You will have to reach level 30. Yes, that means that you'll have to put in additional work, grind out additional XP than characters who re reincarnate in the past. Which is unfortunate, but the developers have been very straightforward about this for years now, that once the cap goes up to 30, the required level for iconic and epic reincarnation will be increasing as well. So what do I think about all this? What do I think about the level increase? Well, I like the feet layout. I think it's cool that we're getting a capstone feet at level 30 and I'll cover those in more detail in a later video. The XP itself though, I would have liked to see them just keep the 6.6 .6 million and then spread that out between 10 levels as opposed to increasing it at all. I think there's enough grind in the game as there is. I, I'm not a fan of adding more XP, especially since I don't believe they're going to have the content at, at later levels to support it. I've, I'm, 
I think that for quite a while, maybe for a year or two, we're going to just end up having level 29, level 30 characters running stuff way over level just to get the XP required to go from level 28 to level 30, and I think that's unfortunate. But on the other hand, traditionally, we have increased XP when the cap goes up, and in the future, they might, they'll might they probably have enough content to so that you don't have to revisit under-level quests at level 28 and 29 to get to level 30. So I understand on that part. But I personally would have just kept the XP at 6.6 .6 million and spread it out over the 10 levels if I was in charge of DDO. Guys, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this level cap increase. And as always, please like, subscribe. You can check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash axel311. You can also check me out on DDOcast. I was a guest on episodes 406 and 407. I'll link those below in the description if you want to give those a listen. Until next time, you all have a good one.